Hi everybody, this is Julissa. Thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel. Thank you for listening in the podcast. It's Monday, May 6, 2024. I'm here to give you breaking news on something that happened yesterday. So another pastor was ambushed during service and almost got shot at by somebody who was sitting in the congregation, okay? This has been happening. I think this is a calling for all the churches out there to get more security. We are living in crazy times right now. So this incident happened yesterday, like I said, it happened in Pennsylvania. And let me just read to you briefly this article. A short service in North Braddock, Pennsylvania was suspended Sunday when a man pulled a gun on the pastor in the middle of his sermon. Pennsylvania State Police have charged 26-year-old Bernard Polai of Braddock as he entered and attempted to shoot the pastor. The pastor's name is Glenn Germany. While the pastor was delivering the sermon at Jesus Dwelling Place Church on Sunday, just after 1 p.m., okay? This is, the video is very graphic to even see that. Thankfully, um, the guy was able to be pulled to the ground by another I don't know if it was a security staff or another church member, but thanks be to God, he never fired. But this man was very bold, okay? He hid in the congregation, sat there like a normal church attendee, sat there, listened to the pastor, and out of nowhere stood up, get the, got the gun now, and pointed right at the pastor, okay? Pastors, you know, we saw the Bishop uh, uh, Mary, or Mary, we saw him in Australia. This happened to him like two weeks ago. He actually got stabbed. Um, well, it was an attempt. The guy tried to stab him and he, the knife never came out the blade. It was just crazy to see this. And this the, the pastor in this video, guys, it looks so vulnerable. I'm gonna see if I can put some still shots um, so you guys can see it. The pastor looks so vulnerable. They are preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And this man is gonna come with a gun try to shoot at him that is crazy it tells you the crazy times that we're living in it tells you that church needs more security in the past you can hear people criticizing why there's so much security here why everything is so controlled things like that there's a reason for that okay and sometimes people like to for something to happen then they'll be like how come they don't have security right because you know there's always something that they gotta say um, if there's too much security, they don't see the point, and then some things happen, and then they'll be like, how come there was not enough security here? So, thankfully, this pastor, Glenn Germany, was able to, um, you know, him, the pastor, and another person, like I said, you can see in the video, jumping to get the, the guy who tried to shoot the pastor. Right now, they're not really saying, you know, the connection between the pastor and this man. His name is um, Bernard Polai, 26 years old, was arrested. In the video, you can see them getting him to the ground. And how crazy is that? Because here's the man showing up to church with a loaded gun, right? And as they tackle him to the ground, you don't know if the gun is gonna go off. This is crazy. It's so dangerous, right? And I think, you know, it's a tactic of the enemy trying to get people not to, you know, to continue to go to church perhaps or pastors to be um, scared to. They see a guy just, you know, during service just walking by and they probably get freaked out or something, anything, right? Um, it's just, there's a lot of people right now, like I said many times, dealing with mental health and there's a lot of people struggling. And it's just, you know, they, it, I think it's a sign of the times, right? I think it's a sign of the times that we're living in right now. Um, the pastor says, I was like, this is not happening. Yes, yeah, somehow, um, no shots were fired. He said, I thank God because only God stopped and jammed this gun. So his gun got jammed, but this man was right at the, he was pointing right at the pastor. What a scary situation, guys. Like I said, there's a video out there. I have some still photos so you can see it. Um, it says here, as the pastor took out of the way, church deacon, so it was the deacon who, who got the guy down. Church deacon Clarence McAllister leaps in front of the camera, tackling the man with the gun to the ground. McAllister said, um, 
there's something that needs to be done and I jump and handle the business, he said. That's that's amazing that he was not even afraid, you know. Um, you know, it was almost like the the um the power of the of God who you know got on him and he's like, I'm gonna take this guy down. Like what is he doing? So thanks uh, thanks be to to God that the gun jammed and nothing happened, but this man was so determined. I'm trying to see if I can get information about what was his connection to the church and the pastor. Um, so really nothing. Let me see. Let me see, let's see. I don't see nothing else about it. Um, they say the guy, um, his last name is Polite. <laughs> his last name is Polite, right. Now he's facing multiple charges, including aggravated assault and attempted homicide. And bail was denied for Polite. He said to face pre preliminary hearing on the charges next week. So, you know, this is just, it's crazy that this even, you know, happened. And I don't know if this is, you know, we're seeing many, many incidents like this. I don't know if it was, um, I don't know if it happened in 2021 when that pastor in Brooklyn uh, got wrapped right during service. And you know why there's a video of it? Because now there's a lot of churches who do on live streaming, right? Church online, things like that. I think after the pandemic, that became like even more for a lot of churches who perhaps they're not that big, but because they need, they went um, to do a lot of, to transmit their services online. So it's just to see things like this happening, you can look at it as, you know, the end of times, signs of the, the times that we're living in. Um, but also, it could be a calling for churches to perhaps get, get more security. And, you know, I'm sure this is, you know, what happened to Bishop um, Mary back in uh, two weeks ago, probably in Australia. And what happened just yesterday in this church here in Pennsylvania is just uh, another example of what could happen. Thanks be to God. And these two attacks that I came here and spoken to you about, like... The pastor, I mean the bishop, uh, Mary, he was never stabbed because the knife jammed, right? And then this pastor, the gun did not go off. Thanks be to, the, thanks be to God because the gun jammed because imagine, I mean, they're tackling this man to the ground. Then go, that gun could have gone off and hit somebody in the audience, maybe the pastor, the deacon, anybody, right? anybody and it could have been a probably worse um scenario thank thank god and you can see in the video another person saying somebody called you know called the police and it's just you know it's such an unfortunate incident but it tells you the times that we're living in let me know what you guys think about this thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel and thank you for listening in the podcast have a good day god bless This is Julissa. I'm here to invite you to my podcast, Julissa Designs, and it can be found on Anchor, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. You can join me every day as I make episodes of the latest news, real life stories, and I also share my favorite Bible verse. Hope to see you then. God bless everybody this is julissa thank you so much for coming to my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and if you want to know more about me you can always visit www.julissadesigns.com have a great day everybody god bless